91 overall, legendary Marshall Falk. Many in the community believe this is the best running back in Mutt. Today we're going to answer that question and also find out, is he worth the coins that he's selling for? Let's get into it. What's going on everybody out there this is popular stranger and we are back at you again today for another mud 18 player card review today we are going over legendary marshall falk 91 overall running back st louis rams we got the pound the rock chemistry version but of course there's three others out there so you can get whatever chemistry you want at least out of the four choices so let's go ahead and take a look at his stats here. We got some gameplay coming up in a moment. 5 foot 10, 90 speed, 91 agility, 90 excel, 86 carrying, 88 ball carrier vision, 91 elusiveness, 76 trucking, and 91 juke moves. Some really impressive stats there. We're going to scroll through the rest of these. As always, guys, if there's other cards that you want me to review, leave it down below in the comment section. I'm going to Philadelphia this weekend. I know some of you probably don't care, but I'm going to the Eagles-Cardinals game, so I'm going to be that town this weekend, but we'll be dropping a lot more card reviews. I got a ton of them that I've been working on, so you're going to be seeing one probably every single day up until Monday or Tuesday. Let's go ahead and see what this card can do on the field. So let's start by going over the pricing on this card. Now, what we had to do, because there's four different versions for four different chemistries, is I just took the averages for each chemistry added them up divided it by four and that's where we're going to get our average from so on xbox one about 333k again depending on the chemistry and of course you can always do the set good luck with that uh but 333k on xbox one playstation 4 a little cheaper at 316k which is interesting because typically ps4 cards are a lot more expensive compared to xbox one um so mutthead.com rates him as an 83 overall power running back and here's where the fun stuff comes. 99 elusive back, 98 receiving back, 75 on the goal line. But you guys are going to see I give him a lot of goal line carries, and I would disagree. I think he's much, much more effective on the goal line. We'll talk about in a moment. So obviously, the most attractive things about this card, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 90 spin move, 91 juke move. We know that juking is a bit overpowered this year. Spin moves as well, and when you get that 91 threshold, at least that's what the community believes to be true. This card's going to be really, really good. So is it worth the coin? Immediately, I'm going to say no. Now, I used this card for probably 30 games, and I'm not going to say it was a bad card, but if you look back and watch my Kareem Hunt review, I think I had more success with that card, which is much, much, much cheaper. I didn't really feel there was such a huge difference in skill gap. Maybe with the spin move and the juke sometimes, you know, Falk would make defenders miss that Kareem Hunt maybe couldn't have done. Um, but what this card really excels at for me, and I love getting my running backs involved in the passing game. You see all these goal line carries. He just finds the way to get in there. Um, but with the passing game, he is extremely effective. If you can get this card out in space in the passing game and use that 90 speed, most of the time, I didn't even try to juke past people. I would just try to run past him because he's faster than most defenders in the game right now. So just watch the angles that you take when you run. Try to bust it to the outside. You know, of course, you're going to have to use the juke occasionally. But utilize that 90 speed if you're going to pick up this card. Just try to run away from people. For the most part, you can't jump out and make those crazy flying tackles anymore. So if you can get a yard step on some of these people, you're going to finish the job and be able to run right past them. In the receiving game, if you can get him in the flats, you know, even angle routes, he has really good route running. One of the best, probably the best receiving running back in the game. If you can get him out in space and matched up with linebackers, just throw it to him. He's going to beat him. Sometimes I have times where I was covered and I would still just throw the ball just out of faith because I knew he would get to that route and that point where I needed him to and he would just all of a sudden create separation. That was something that I really loved. All in all, I don't think the card's worth the price, but if he fits your scheme and you like to pass the football a lot, definitely pick him up. Speed kills as well. Thanks for watching. Peace.